Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to Jargon Free Help. Well, this week, Apple released two new pieces of software. One is iOS 8.1, which is an update to iOS 8. And with that comes things like instant hotspot from your iPhone. So if you've got a 3G or 4G connection here and you have the same accounts on any of these devices like your iPad or your MacBook, then they can easily just automatically connect without having to switch on the personal hotspot in here. It just recognizes you're on the same account. It detects it because you're using Bluetooth on all of these, so Bluetooth has to be switched on on all of them. With the iPad and the iPhone, it connected really simply once I had the Bluetooth switched on. Bluetooth on both devices, you can just switch on by swiping up here and then just tapping on the Bluetooth option right there. So that's quite handy and easy to do. Then on this device here, your iPad, I automatically get a Wi-Fi connection if I don't already have a connection. So if I'm out and about, this will automatically connect for me. For this one, I did find that I had to pair it up first. So maybe a little bit of a quirk, but I had to go into my settings in the um, Bluetooth at the top here and choose the uh, Bluetooth preferences. And then from there, just actually pair it up. So once you're paired up with your Mac, then this is just really quite simple how the handoff actually works. So I have actually gone to a website here, which is Jargon Free Help. And then on the iPad, for example, if I double press the home button and I swipe across to the left hand side here, you'll see if I tap on it, you can see it now comes up with the website that I was working on. So the other place it comes up is on the lock screen here on the iPad. You'll see it's in the bottom corner there and you could just simply swipe up, put in your code if you've got one, and that then will take you to that. And depending on what you actually have open, you'll see in the bottom corner there, that will now change to mail. And if it was another application, again, I can just swipe up and do the passcode. And if it happens that I was using something like Keynote, and I go back to my lock screen, you can see that it's come up there as well. And all I've got to do is swipe up and it takes me to where I've left off. So on my Mac, you can see that it actually appears to the left-hand side of my dock and I can just click on it and it takes me to where I left off on my mobile phone or on my iPad. The thing to remember is you do need to have it open because if I switch my phone off or go to the lock screen, then that icon disappears both here and on the iPad or vice versa. You can do this from an iPad to an iMac as well, even from here to here or from one iPad to another. So really useful. It's a little bit gimmicky, most people might say, but actually if you're looking at a website here, then it's really quite handy to just pick it up as you get near your one of your devices, such as the iPad or the Mac. So it recognizes it by the Bluetooth, so it's going to be fairly close before it actually activates. So that's handoff, and that's how easy it is to use. There's also Instant Hotspot, which you've seen. So you can just go into your little Wi-Fi icon here, and you can choose your phone. You can see what type of connection you've got. It's saying 4G. It's even showing you the battery power, because if you're low on battery here, you might not want to be using the Wi-Fi for very long over here. So there's two little updates from Apple. You do need to check that you have the right devices as well. Old Macs and MacBook Pros and MacBooks and or even MacBook Airs, old iPads and old iPhones, you may find that this doesn't actually really work very well or even at all. So do check, make sure that those devices are on the list and you can find those on the Apple website, www.apple.com. And don't forget, I've got lots of tutorials always being updated on my website, jargonfreehelp.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.